Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've actually done a tummy tuck video update, so I'm gonna jump right in and get right to it. So Friday, which was yesterday, I was four months post-op, so I had my appointment with my doctor on Thursday, and he's great, his name is Dr. Blue, and he's just like, he loves me. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird, but like he just thinks I'm hysterical, so it's like fun to go. Um, anyways, I'm gonna show you my scar today. First, let me just update you on what's been going on. I have been able to work out. Still can't do so. Still can't do some movements that great. Hang on, look how cute Charlie looks. Of a pimple. Are you cute? Anyway, so um, still can't do some movements. Um, and I went yesterday and he cleared me to start training core. He said it's going to be very, very painful. He said I might even cry. He said just be careful, take it little by little, easy by easy. He didn't say take it easy by easy. I said that because my brain doesn't work. Um, but let's go ahead and show you my scar. One thing that I did wish I had done was lose a little bit of weight before I got my surgery so then it couldn't have been tighter and I do wish I got my breasts done seriously because now like my stomach is flat and so now my boobs I'm not kidding guys my nipple points down like to my toes and so he highly suggested at least getting a lift um, just so it would look like I was my age but he says Michelle your boobs look like they're 50 year olds so that kind of sucks I do wish I did get the breast either implants or lift um, but maybe one day um, before I have kids uh, or after we'll see um, but let's go ahead and just show you my scar now things that have changed I'm not as tight because I have been moving so your skin looses so it's not like I look like I have abs 24 7 now so here's my scar I feel like since the last time I showed you maybe it's a little bit lighter Maybe not. The only thing I've been using on my scar so far, the only thing I've been using on my scarf so far is bio oil, which looks like this. Bio oil. Then I've been using this uh, Heal and Softens Palmless Cocoa butter, butter, and I also use a lotion of this form too. Uh, I did was using some essential oils and I really like them but I ran out and so I have to purchase new ones but they're just like super expensive um, but I feel like they helped a lot so I'm gonna use I've been reading online I don't know when to start using Mederma so I have a recommendation to start using Mederma but I should have asked him that but he's like a super big believer in silence nothing repairs the skin cells blah 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 so he's like you know do what works for you so if you have a recommendation of when I should start using Mederma, please tell me, uh, and I'll get. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll give you like a full length shot. So again. this is me not flexing or anything, like literally actually sticking my stomach out. To the side, you can tell I'm a little thicker, and that's the illusion of the tummy tuck or whatever. Um, so, and then like these are mid rise panties, and I can pull these down, and you can see my scar. So. Uh, yeah, right now, physicals, I guess, you know, let's do a physique update. So right now my physicals, or if like, I'm trying to lose an inch or so here and an inch or so here, uh, the booty is gone very quickly. The booty is gone. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. Maybe just a, like a half an inch in my arms. My chest is good. The rest, legs, legs are always going to be chunky funky, you know. Um, other than that, so far, so good. I hope that was helpful for all of you. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!